now for the Fantasy Football Report with yeah. our fantasy football contributor and yeah. producer of the show, yes. Andy Wheeler. Hey. I know you missed his face. Uh, of uh, <laughs> lots of owners yeah. <laughs> walked away with a loss in week one because, well, that's what happens. 50% of you. 50%. But yeah. you say it's okay. It's okay. It is the best time to lose, and it has everything to do with the waiver wire. Most leagues have a system in place where the worst players get waiver priority. That means if you lose in week one, you get a shot at some pretty good players on the wire, especially if your league didn't draft well. Guys were available in a lot of leagues that shouldn't have been. The Rams defense, Cooper Cup, Kenny Galladay, even mm. Jesse James should have been Jesse drafted James. in most leagues, but we're out there on the wires. And then people got shots at guys like Cohen from Chicago, Kerwin Williams, after David Johnson went well or went down. So if you lose, the best time to do it is week one, and it really helped out some teams this week. I didn't lose, so I didn't have that problem. Oh, well, neither did I. Okay, so give me some guys good. that you like. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Let's start with uh, the e uh, somebody playing the Eagles today. They face Travis Kelsey. You heard it earlier in the show. Last week, the Patriots focused on shutting him down. He still had five catches on seven targets for 40 yards, he even ran the ball once. Now the Eagles have to worry about T uh, Tyreek Hill and Kareem Hunt. I think at minimum he finds the end zone today. The Raiders defense, one of the best things about week one, things get a little clearer about what teams stink. And so far it's clear that both the Jets and the luckless Colts are going to be terrible this year. Terrible. While the, terrible, Kenny. Uh, while the Raiders defense isn't fantastic, the Jets are so bad I look a double-digit day out of the silver and black. And finally, Brandon Cooks. Cooks returns to face his old team, the Saints. New England is coming off that bad loss to the Chiefs. Sam Bradford torched the Saints last week, and that only leads me to believe that Tom Brady is going to go off. Also, a side note, look at the underperformers today. If they've done it two weeks in a row, those are your buy-low candidates starting next week. I'm already getting trade requests. <laughs> you heathens out there, relax, settle down. It's only week two. Only week two. All right, how can the people find you? Uh, they can email me at awheeler at cbs3.com up until 1 o'clock, and they can tweet me all day at the Andy Wheeler. If you have a question, I'll try and help. Not Andy Wheeler. It's the, the Andy Wheeler. The 